Ah, Tungdil, what is it? The High King and his advisor don't know where I come from either. But they only want to use me to delay Gandagar's coronation and ultimately prevent war with the Elves. Whatever happens, we will stand by your side, Scholar. You are not sure whether the moral support of your friends will be much use in a contest with Gandagar, but it feels good not having to go through the whole thing on your own. I think I'll continue to look around. Don't get lost. And tonight, we will finally drink a lovely dark ale in the glowing anvil. I wonder how they keep all those fires going. You'd think they'd have like uh, a couple of mages with that internal flame. I wonder if you ever find out where Tungdo came from then. I'm sure it's got to be relevant to the story. I mean, hell, he could be the High King's son. The guy is 500 something years old. Andakai, what is it? I came to return these books to you, Tungdo. Luckily, I was able to make sense of most of it. You observed how the Mager took time to study the books during your escape. They are records from the Outer Lands. They tell of demonic beings from Barren Ground who can take possession of humans and invest them with great power. Immortality, for example? The Mager nods seriously. They speak of an axe forged by the Undergrounders called Keenfire. It is said to have the power to cut through the flesh and bone of the living and completely destroy the demonic spirit deep within their soul. So you think a demon from the Outer Lands has taken possession of Nudin? He looked very different when I encountered him in Parista, and he rose from the dead even though you cut off his head. That can't be explained purely through the power of the perished land. And he wanted to prevent these books from falling into our hands, that would only make sense if Keenfire had the power to defeat him. Where is this Keenfire? I don't know if this weapon was ever forged. It requires rare materials and masterful craftsmanship. The purest, harder steel, stone barbs decorated with runes, a hilt of Sigurdaisy wood, inlays made of all the noble metals, the blades studded with diamonds, smithed in the hottest forge. We are dwarves. We have the most talented craftsmen. And you have the Sigurdaisy wood. It is amongst the objects in your rucksack, which is fortunate as there are no more Sigurdaisies in Girdelgard. But even if you manage to forge the axe, it might all be just a fairy tale. It's too little to wager our lives on. Do you know these Undergrounders? I have never heard of the Undergrounders, but I've been to the Outer Lands before. It must be terrible. The hordes of Teon have marched from there against our strongholds for thousands of years. It's not as bad as you think. It is certainly safer than a land in which a Magus possessed by a demon is on the loose. We can get all the missing materials, as well as a gem cutter, here in the stronghold. After all, Gandagar and his fourthlings are here, a stonemason from the secondlings, and I can smith. The Mager looks at you thoughtfully, and for a short time it seems as though your enthusiasm is rubbing off on her. But then she says, I wish you good luck, Tungdil. You still want to leave Girdelgard, but, but what will happen to your realm and, and all the other realms? I admire your optimism, my friend, but it isn't wise to stand in the way of a rolling stone. I don't wish to give up my realm, but I would only be prolonging the suffering unnecessarily. But... You don't want to let the last Mager in Girdelgard go. Unfortunately, 
You can't think of anything that could cause her to stay. Many thanks, Honorable Mega, for all that you have done. No. A variety of cheeses, pickled cave mushrooms, toasted vault moss, and some smoked sausage. Mm. The intense smell of the cheese makes your mouth begin to water. Yeah, cheese. Garen found an answer to the threat. Keenfire. No matter how difficult it is to forge it, we must do it. We don't know of anything else that could injure a demon. Sick a daisy wood. Very rare. I guess Lot Yonan wanted it to examine or experiment with. You are looking forward to the first proper bed for weeks. You undress and lie down. Before you know it, your eyes close and you fall asleep. When your new armor is brought to you the next morning, you can hardly believe your eyes. However, as a smith, you can't stand the fact that you haven't contributed anything to it and decide to add some inlays. Even one who wears the armor of a prince can still be a farrier underneath it, don't you think, Tungdil Bolifar? What are you doing in here? Ignoring your question, Bislipur eyes you very exactly before he speaks. So. You want to be one of our kingdom, a foundling brought up by a wizard. One wouldn't think it possible. And I don't think it possible either. There is no proof of your origin and Gandagar's the council on his side. Why don't you spare yourself the disgrace and just not turn up in front of the council? Put your scheme to bed. And we will take you into our kingdom. We will give you everything you need your whole life long. In exchange, you support Gandagard instead of challenging him. Proof? Oh, you mean like your letter that has been found after a thousand cycles and makes the elves responsible for the fall of the fifthlings? It is no secret that the elves are deceitful. And what could possibly be more suited to get one over on us than letting the perished land in and presenting us as the scapegoat? The elves have been displaced by the perished land and are now almost eradicated. I said they are deceitful, not wise. Children of the Smith cannot be silenced. You are the dwarf, I confess, but no fourthling can remember a dwarf child ever going missing. And you know thousands of the fourthlings personally, and know exactly where they live in the mountains, what they're planning, or what small tragedies take place in their lives? You have a sense that all the long evenings in the library and debating with Lot Yonan weren't for nothing, as Bislipper struggles for a reply, then lets it go. <laughs> And what if I don't withdraw my candidacy? You wish to stand against your own king? A stray dwarf offending a deserving leader such as Gandagar through his claim? No one in the Brown Range will like that. Prepare yourself for life as an outsider among the Fourthlings. You have had enough of this dwarf. He makes you feel uneasy, or worse still. Get out! A humanized bastard will not issue me orders. Know your place, false dwarf.
Some of the gold has left a coin-sized mark on the back of your hand. It hurts, but you like the idea that a bit of the metal you love is now part of you. The armor has been made by a master. Over the chainmail is steel plate, alloyed with gold in many places, which certainly appeals to you. There are also several decorative elements made of stone to honor its origin in the kingdom of the best stonemasons. You had just finished setting the last inlay, the seal of Lot Yonan, who brought you up and is gone, when Bislipper interrupted you. What a dick. Can I go back to bed? It's going back to bed an option. Make my speech to the assembly. Better be a good one. Wonder if I got to wield keen fire. It better be bitching. Come on, load that cutscene. That is why I too lodge a claim to the throne and why I think I am the more capable heir. Thank you for your speech, Tungdil Bolifar. The council may now ask questions. Uh, where's the council? The, uh, call upon... Bislipper? Nothing you say will convince anyone here. You didn't grow up amongst us, and no one knows if you really are a fourthling. I do not believe there has ever been a more unworthy heir to the throne of the High King. You are just wasting our time. Oh, I didn't know you were the spokesperson for everyone at this assembly, Bislipper. I had the impression that every dwarf is capable of forming their own opinion. Absolutely. <laughs> here, here! He's right, you know. Keep out of it, Bislipper. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the dwarf from the Second Link Kingdom over there. You say that a war against the elves would be madness. But how can such a young dwarf as you judge that? <laughs> You've hardly seen anything of the world, has he? It is true. There is much that I only know from books. But it is written that it is our duty to defend and protect Girdlegard and that includes the elves. And don't the elves have the same enemy as we do? They could stand by us in battle. Why should we play into the hands of the enemy by attacking them rather than working against the enemy together? Well, that is true. He's right. The words of a clever warrior. But the point he is hates us and we hate them too. What is it they say again? My enemy's enemy is my friend. Yes? Your question? Just so I get this right, you want to forge a weapon that is described in a book of fairy tales from the perished land to kill a demon that none of us has ever seen? I have most definitely seen it. 
Goimgar, yellow belly, shimmer beard. <laughs> we have seen the perished land with our own eyes, and its master Nodon could not be killed. Many have died for the books in which it is written how keen fire can be made. And the Magus did all he could to get his hands on the two halves made of Sigur Daisy wood. Those are the facts, whether you like them or not. These problems won't solve themselves, so I ask you, is it the Dwarven way to step aside and do nothing, or is it our way to act? To act! Uh, we don't hide away! If the humans won't stop the Parish Land, then we will! We shouldn't get drawn in! Let's show the Magus the strength of the Dwarves. I have heard enough. The Council has heard the words of both candidates and must now make its decision. Those of you who wish to see Tungdil Bolifar, the returning son from the Fourthling Kingdom, as my successor, raise your axe. And those who wish to see Gandagar Silverbeard from the Silverbeards, the King of the Fourthlings, as my successor. It's close, but Gandagar has received more votes. Very good. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha! Excellent! Here's to Gandagar! Long live our new High King! However, the result was not unanimous, and as Acting High King, I avail myself of my right to demand a contest between the Aspirants. What is this? But he won the ballot. That's the rules. The High King has the right to do so. Respect! He is still the High King. Silence! You have heard the High King's command. Write down your challenge for the Aspirants. Are you ready? The one that masters this task first will become the High King. It is... an expedition. The trial is to lead a group to forge the axe, Keenfire, in the Grey Range, which can then be used to fight against the Magus, not on. Ah. An expedition into the perished land? Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant! You can't be serious. That's what I call a worthy challenge, don't you think? I call it luck, Scholar. Of all the challenges, Bislapur draws this one. <laughs> yes. Luck. <laughs> well, I mean, it needs to be done, right? Worst case scenario, we get our axe to kill Noden. <laughs>